I'm Ben Schwartz. This is another episode of 10 with Ben. Today we're going to answer a question from Ryan on YouTube. In response to one of our other videos, Ryan posted a question. He essentially said, hey Ben, I know you're not a Second, Second Amendment lawyer, but can you talk about gun laws in Delaware? And I thought about it and you know, Ryan's right. I'm not, I, I mean, I'm a gun owner. I'm a hunter. Uh, you know, I really enjoy, you know, firearms and I believe in teaching your kids firearm safety and being responsible around guns, but I'm really not a second amendment lawyer. We have second amendment lawyers uh, that we have access to that if you need one, we can get you one, but I'm not a second amendment guy. But what I have done a lot of in my law practice is defend criminal cases. And in fact, when I started practicing, I almost exclusively did court appointed felony criminal defense and a lot of those cases involved guns. And so I was thinking about Ryan's question and I was thinking that what I really ought to do is a video on some of the ways that you can get in trouble with a gun in Delaware, outside of Delaware, just about anywhere. If you want to get in trouble, you want to get arrested and you've got a gun, here's five ways to do it. And so I think this is worth thinking through. If you are a gun owner, this is something that is worth thinking through because this might save you from getting arrested. It might save you a lot of headache and a lot of heartache. Number one, taking your gun where you're not supposed to have it. And you know, I have to tell you that it's not always clear where you're supposed to have it and where you're not supposed to have it. In the United States, some states are open carry states and some states are not. Right now, I'm in Delaware. Delaware is an open carry state. If I want to put my Glock, you know, in a holster on my hip, I certainly can do that. I can go to the grocery store and buy groceries with my firearm on my side as long as it's open and obvious for people to see. And that's legal in Delaware. But there are places where you can't take a gun. For example, you never want to take a gun or try to take a gun into a courthouse that's highly illegal, that's going to get you arrested and charged with a crime, at least in Delaware. I suspect in most, if, all, if not all states, that's going to get you arrested and charged with a crime. Um, interesting fact, as I'm recording this video, we just had a case come out, not but two and a half months ago, come out of the Delaware Supreme Court, the name of the case was State Parks and Forests uh, or uh, it was Bridgeville Rifle and Pistol Club versus Small, and it talked about whether Delaware, the state of Delaware, can prohibit people from bringing firearms into state uh, parks and forests. And the Delaware Supreme Court said no, that you can't prohibit Delaware citizens from having firearms in a state park because under the Delaware Constitution, they have a right to carry a firearm for their own protection and for hunting purposes. Um, it, just an interesting tidbit, but if you're going to carry a firearm, whether it's concealed or whether it's open carry, you should find out, you should think about where you're going and then find out under the law in the state where you are, can you do that? Can you take the gun there? Number two, transporting firearms and ammunition. You know, I think that I've seen a good number of cases where people got arrested and charged with carrying a concealed uh, deadly weapon. And what people do is they have a firearm, they have a gun, and they have ammunition, and they might have them in the trunk of their car or in their glove compartment. They figure it's out of sight, the gun's not loaded, but the items are carried together. What you're doing by carrying your guns and your ammo together, what you're doing is you're carrying concealed. And if you don't have a license to carry concealed, it could be a felony. So that's a good way to get arrested. You don't want to carry those two things together. Uh, number three, displaying a firearm while doing something else. Now, as I said, I'm in Delaware. Delaware is an open carry state. But what happens if you ask someone for a ride while you have your firearm in your holster. They see the firearm, they feel, they subjectively feel that you're compelling them, that you're forcing them to give you a ride. 
What happens when they call the police and they say, this guy forced me, forced himself into my car and he forced me to take him somewhere. And the police figure, well, that sounds a whole lot like kidnapping and they arrest you for kidnapping. I've had this case. I've been to trial with a very similar case. And I have to say that uh, even if you have the right to open carry, you might want to think about what actions you're taking while open carrying and how those actions could be construed because you never want to put yourself in a position where you have to explain yourself to the police or worse, explain yourself to a jury in your felony criminal trial. Um, another way to get yourself in trouble, method number four, if you will, is displaying your firearm inappropriately. You may be in a state where it's open carry. You may have the right to display your firearm, but if you display your firearm in a manner to express displeasure with another person, you may find yourself in handcuffs. For example, what happens if someone cuts you off in traffic? What happens if someone's driving aggressively and you just show them your gun? If they call the police and say, this nut was waving his gun around at me, I felt threatened, guess what's going to happen? The police are going to probably arrest you and charge you with a crime, then you're going to be calling a criminal defense lawyer. So don't do it. If you're going to carry a firearm, make sure that you carry it in a responsible manner and don't display it inappropriately. Uh, number five, the fifth way that I can think of to very easily get yourself in trouble is if you are lawfully in possession of a gun or firearm and you give that firearm to someone who's not permitted to have it, then you are subject to arrest and being charged and being convicted of a crime. And that's in every state, that's in federal law as well. And so I would never give a gun to another person unless you know that that individual can clear a background check. Uh, and that way you're not giving a gun to a felon, you're not giving a gun to someone who has been prohibited under the law of their state from owning or possessing a firearm. So Ryan, I hope that these are some good tips to get you thinking. I hope this answers your question. If you're watching this video, I hope you found it informative, entertaining, and interesting, most of all interesting. And I hope that if you have questions about the law or my views on the law, I hope that you'll contact me. My email address is mail, M-A-I-L, at benschwartz.com. You can post a comment on this video as well. And let me know what you think. I want you to remember that the information I'm giving you in this video is not legal advice. If you have questions, if you need specific legal advice for a specific case or a specific situation, then you need to get with an attorney and have a confidential consultation where you live in the county and state where you live or where your arrest or your incident took place and get relevant, detailed, good, solid legal advice there. Thanks for watching.